Hello, everyone, and welcome to Elliot and the Evil Sorcerer. Written by Rylan Mason and narrated by me, Brian Shepard. Episode 5. Mabry Will Tell Us Something Elliot, who just woke up after collapsing on the floor in front of his father and most, if not the whole court, now it seems that his father was looking for answers, mainly one in particular, who it was that his son was communicating with. Elliot found this to be confusing and rude. For someone who's never been part of his life, he found his father demanding an answer right off the bat. No, how are you? What has been going on in your life? Nothing. As if he didn't care. I'm sorry, what? Elliot asked. Why would he want to know? He thought. You are speaking with someone using a Florian. Derek and Allison tell me that it's a book, yet would not say any more. So, who are you speaking with? his father asked. I don't see why you need to know that, Elliot said. Oh, but I do. You see, there has been a shift in the balance of everything here in the realm. Crops, forests, flowers, rivers, lakes, everything is either dead or dying. Lord Avidian has brought chaos to order, unleashing creatures from the dark realm, his father finished, still looking at Elliot for the answer. Ulrich, Elliot got out. King Ulrich, his father roared. I knew that there must have been a connection. Why, of all people, it had to be Ulrich. Wait, he stopped, standing up from the bed, searching Elliot's eyes as if there was other answers he was looking for. He's your mate. No, I will not have it. My son faded to the Fey King? Never his father said as he paced around the room. Definitely not the warm welcome Elliot was looking for. Elliot has not even met the man, and already he is not liked. He was sure there was a very good reason why his father disliked Ulrich. I'm sorry, father. However, you of all people should have no say. Considering you were a distant parent, I have never met you, and here you are telling me you do not approve of someone... I have not met either. I have no clue as to why you do not approve of Ulrich. However, I will make that decision, Elliot said, hoping that would end the conversation. You do not understand. You are my son. The warlock prince, he stopped, looking at Elliot. We will discuss this later. I have some business to attend to, and we'll check on you later. Derek and Allison will see you soon his father said as he walked out the door, closing it behind him. Elliot was quick to get out of bed, even though his body wanted to stay put. Grabbing the clothes that were folded on the table beside the bed, fixing his hair in the mirror, Elliot was ready. For what, though? Just then, there was a knock at the door. Walking over and opening the door, he found Derek and Allie, who were happy to see him. Elliot also noticed guards on either side of the door. Hey, guys, Elliot beamed as he, too, was happy to see familiar faces. Yet, as they stepped into the, his room, it seemed the atmosphere changed and the smiles were gone. We are pleased to see you up and well, Elliot. However, now that we are here, it seems there is more trouble than what we thought, Derek said. We were able to find Mabry, and he's waiting in the library, Allie spoke. He is nervous, however willing to answer as many questions as he can, she finished with a worried look. Let's just hope it goes better than with my father, Elliot said, sounding disappointed. Elliot followed his friends out of the room and headed for the library. Walking through the halls, he would notice people whispering, 
smiling at him and bowing. The bowing was starting to bother him. Pretty much everyone was doing it now, as word must have spread of his arrival at the castle. Derek and Allie finally stopped in front of two ornate wooden doors. The guard, standing to the left, glanced over. Noticing it was Elliot, immediately started to open the door. Elliot, smiling as he walked in, and began to take in the vast amount of books that seemed to go on forever. Books were everywhere, from the floor to the ceiling, covering tables and even some on the floor. A librarian's dream. Standing in front of what seemed like a self-portrait of his father was a man who he assumed was Lord Maybury. Elliot noticed that even though Maybury looked young, his appearance made him look tired, ragged, and weak. Clothing dirty and torn, yet still had golden blonde hair. Prince Elliot, it is a pleasure to meet you he said with a soft tone, and smiled as he bowed. Elliot, please. Mabry, looking confused, simply looked at Derek, who nodded. All right, if you insist, Elliot. How may I assist you? I have been speaking with King Ulrich through a Florian, which just happens to be a book, Elliot said, as Allie handed it to him. He noticed Mabry's eyes widen as he could see the King Ulrich's seal on the cover. King Ulrich is stuck in the Dark Realm. Because of Lord Ophidian banishing him there, he cannot say where he is as the Florian won't allow it. You will have to go there yourself. Yet I advise caution, as you will come up against the darkest creatures. Then I must go. But... How do I get there? Elliot asked. You must find the open portal, as Avidian is using it to allow the dark creatures to drain the life out of everything as they come through. He shuddered, just thinking about him. Or was it the time he was a frog? Elliot thought for a moment. There seem to be plenty of screechers in the woods. Maybe that's where the portal is. "'Ah, William, it's nice to see you. However, it seems it's been too long,' Elliot's father said as he entered the room, taking in Mabry's appearance. "'It seems you'll be returning to Ulrich's side once again. You are here to tell us your plan to retrieve Ulrich?' the king asked. "'Oh, no, sire. It can't be me that goes. Elliot must go,' he gulped seeing King Aureus's eyes go red. Prince Elliot is not going. Not to the Dark Realm. What? You didn't think I knew where he was dumped, banished, and never to return, he said? Father, I want to know what it is that makes you hate him so much. What has he done to deserve this? Elliot asked. It was time to find out why his father disliked King Ulrich, as he made sure to make it clear, not only to Elliot, yet in front of others as well. Elliot was mated to Ulrich. There was no way out of it, and King Aureus knew that. I am worried and concerned. It is one thing to be mated, however, because you are my son, and of my blood you have powers you have yet to tap into or even know about. Your aunt is slow at teaching you. Being made it to Ulrich, who is already a paranormal, makes things worse. All that power might turn him. A fay can only control so much power. Yes, it will help against Davidian, but will he be strong enough to stop it? He finished, looking at Elliot with black eyes. I'm going. Whatever is out there, I will deal with. Besides, I will have Derek and Allie with me. Elliot beamed. Derek and Allie were ready and willing to help Elliot in any way. Maybe I will join this little adventure of yours after all, Mabry said, which made the king grin. Good. Even though I am against this, it seems I have no choice. Before you set off... 
let us feast at your arrival. Some at court are curious about you, his father said, before turning and making his way out of the library. Yes, that reminds me. Lady Avidia Stormwell is dying to meet you. More like the court gossiper, if you ask me, Derek snarked. Great. A dinner tonight that Elliot had no choice but to attend. For what? It was a waste of time, Elliot thought as they left the library. He had plenty of time to look around before he needed to find the dining room. What he wanted was to find this dark portal and find Ulrich, his mate. Derek and Ellie went their separate ways to check in with other members of court. It seemed to Elliot that here in the realm, his friends were important people with responsibilities, which left him wandering around looking at various artwork and sculptures throughout the hallways. Prince Elliot? Why, it is you. I wasn't sure, an older woman said as she approached Elliot. She must have been five foot four, brown curly hair with a few streaks of white, dressed in all black as the dress seemed to flow beneath her feet. Lady Avidia Stormwell, at your service, she said with a smile as she bowed in front of him. She was a witch. Elliot could sense good intentions mixed with trouble. Let's see how well this goes, he thought to himself. Nothing like having your back to the wall with no escape. As Lady Stormwell opened her mouth to speak, Derek and Allie came walking around the corner. Ah, Elliot, there you are. You are needed at once, Lady Stormwell. I apologize as I need to steal him away, Derek said as he placed a hand on Elliot's back and started to guide Elliot away from the wall and Lady Stormwell, who for the moment just stood there with a smile. Of course, I will see you at dinner, Prince Elliot, she smiled, a smile that meant there was no escaping her. Walking away, Elliot whispered a thank you, as Derek just grinned. Lady Stormwell means well. However, you would have been there forever. Maybe there's a spell that would shut her up? Allie snickered. So what's the emergency? Elliot asked as they were heading back to the library where they found William sitting in front of the fire reading. I believe Ulrich is looking for you. You would think he would have chosen something other than an old book, Allie said as they walked over to the table where the book began to light up and open. Flipping a few pages, it finally stopped and words began to appear. Elliot, trouble where I am. Lord Avidian must know. Elliot read, responding with, I know where you are. We are coming to find you, mate. Just saying it was satisfying, as Elliot really didn't have anyone to care for. Also, when speaking through the Florian, Elliot was still able to feel emotions coming from Ulrich, of course, sending his own right back. So when Elliot read the single word in the middle of the page saying, No, he could feel emotions change. Scared, fear, worry, and no meant no. Sorry, mate. I'm still coming to get you. No way I'm leaving you in the dark realm. So you're going to have to deal with it, Elliot said at the book. No response. Good, Elliot thought. He was done with people telling him no. Danger. Be careful. I can't wait to meet you, is what came up on the page. This had Elliot wanting to go even more. Yet first, they had to dine with his father and most of the court. Great. A bunch of chatting and eating sounds boring, Elliot thought. It was about that time that they headed for the dining room. Eat, and then get the heck out. Simple, right? Right.